What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is DB Otaku, welcoming you to another exciting installment of Mortal Kombat 11. Today we're going to be doing Towers of Time, and I thought we would do Cassie Cage's Tower, which is also slash Joker's Tower, and I thought what better way uh, to do this than uh, pick the Hardy, uh, Harley Quinn costume that I have for her. And uh, now, I don't know if this is going to give me like good outfits, it tells me I get outfits, but unfortunately it doesn't actually show me what kind of outfits I'm getting so I'm really just playing through this tower it's gonna be like mul there's multiple towers that I do right now I think this is the medium difficulty but you fight three different uh, opponents and one of them is uh, I don't know what the E stands for on the tower but I'm assuming it's like a randomized uh, character you're gonna be fighting but like, I, I haven't played with Cassie in a while so I'm trying to remember what kind of moves I use uh, it's been a while I think the only time I've really used Cassie was maybe early on playing Mortal Kombat 11 through the story I know for sure and maybe a couple times uh, here and there but I never really used Cassie Cassie all that much never I don't know the cages have always been a very eh characters for me so forgive me if I'm not doing too well with her as you can see fucking what's his name Sub-Zero here is wrecking my shit but I mean Sub-Zero is a goat man he's a beast in the ring he's a beast on the arena and has anyone noticed that in this uh, bug area that's uh, Devorah's lair, you see a bunch of dead Devorah bodies everywhere? I mean, this is the first time. I rarely go onto this stage, but this is the first time where I see a bunch of dead Devorahs. Uh, I don't know if maybe that's like uh, a bunch of queens that uh, that she fought, or, or queens that are born, or that maybe those are just the humanoids of her of her race. Jesus, Sub Zero is just just destroying me in this. I I, I need to win this. I need to take this serious. Uh, instead of uh, fixating on the on the backgrounds and how this uh, arena looks, I mean, Jesus Christ! Look at this dude! Look at this dude! He's just wrecking my shit. He has no respect. Jesus Christ! It's like a lesson of humility, like in fucking Mortal Kombat X. He's just wrecking my shit. I, it feels like they up their defenses. That's what it definitely feels like, because even in a medium difficulty, a character shouldn't be this this uh, prone to taking hits he definitely feels like they upped his uh his defense but like he he feels different he definitely I know this is just an AI robot that I'm finding in the computer but it it definitely feels like they upped his defense and his uh and his actual uh, damage but I mean when it comes to these towers at times they can either be very difficult or it can be kinda easy and you never know even though it sets a difficulty sometimes it can be actually kinda difficult this this is a zero actually feels like a mid-tier uh, online fighter I would be fighting. He's actually doing some pretty good damage. He's already got a win on me. Like, Jesus Christ, this guy is strong. Like, God damn. He, the, come on. He's, he's spam. He, if he's not spamming the the ice ball, he's spamming those shoot, those ice shurikens. I gotta beat him. Oh. Oh, God, no. Oh. Oh. All right, all right. I want to do, I want to do friendship on this. Let's see if we can do her friendship. Hopefully I can actually actually do her friendship on like I couldn't do katana's last time all right feeling kind of cute feeling cute might delete later all right let's see if we can uh can do this hopefully we can knock it out uh, let's see if this will appease the YouTube gods and actually let this uh, Mortal Kombat video do good because this is YouTube this is a friendship this no killing this is definitely doing a friendship no vitalities just just showing off pictures making myself feel cute my delete later you know you know just friendship just giving up friendship you know that's that's what you guys like to talk about family friendly friendship right here e at least I was able to do the friendship I, th I thought it'd be a lot harder because I wasn't able to do it in my last video when I was playing as Katana versus Kano in the combat league but apparently it's because I had to um, I couldn't use a specific I, I had to do it at a specific point and I think I wasn't supposed to use any supers at the end I don't know. I have to recheck that. All right, now we're fighting the Matoken God, Night Wolf. Now a lot of people ask me why do I call him the Matoken God? Cause he's goddamn Night Wolf. He's a G. He's a goat. He's been there since Mortal Kombat three, two, three. Mortal Kombat three. I don't know. He's always been a cool character, highly underrated. And I think he's it's cool that he's finally gotten some shine in this Mortal Kombat game. Cause I don't I, I don't know I, like I kind of didn't like a Night Wolf all that much back then, but he's definitely grown on me. And he's definitely been a way better character within Mortal Kombat 11. He's been a lot more chill, pretty awesome character. 
I li I just know I like I like I like him now. He's he's a cool character. He's easier to use. He he feels just right to you. Like I played him with him in MK9 on my Vita and on the PS3 and he just I don't know. He felt clunky. He didn't feel like he could do combos. But on here, he definitely feels like he can use combos. He can his moves feel better, more satisfying. And come on, he's a he's an Indian character, uh, Native American character. I mean, it's rare when we get a lot of it when in we when we get a. Uh, Native American character in a uh, fighting game. I think only game I can think of that have had um, Native American characters are Mortal Kombat and Street Fighters. I haven't seen any other uh, actual games. I'm, I'm sure there have been other games that have Native American characters. Uh, you guys can name them in the comment section below. I just can't remember. All I know is the one from Street Fighters and the one from Mortal Kombat here. Uh, I think uh, the one from Street Fighters, his name is like Tomahawk or something or Nighthawk. I mean, I don't know. I, I it's it, like I forget which game he was on. I think it was like Street Fighter's uh, Third Strike or something, or uh, Alpha Three. Uh, it's been a while. I haven't played like those old ass Street Fighter games in a minute. Ooh, we might actually knock her out. We might knock him out. We might knock him out. Come on, if we can. Oh shit! Okay, come on. Okay, we're good. We're 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 Cassie Quinn or or. Har Harley Cage, yeah, yeah, Harley Cage. I actually love her costume. We're just gonna do friendships with throughout this whole thing, cause let's see if uh, this will appease the YouTube gods. But uh, I really like this Harley Quinn costume they did for her. I just wish they did like some special quotes, or like they grabbed the Injustice voice actress for her, like they did with uh, that one uh, DJ dude for Sub Zero. Like it would have been cool uh, to have like special quotes while she's in that costume with Joker or something. But I do like the design of this. Uh, it definitely feels like this is what the next Harley Quinn's gonna look like in uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, Mortal Kombat in uh, Injustice 3. Uh, and then with uh, DC, their DC uh, Comic Con thing that's coming, DC Fandom, that's coming up on the 22nd, depending on when this video comes out. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tight, man. It's gonna be awesome. Hopefully they announce Injustice 3. I'm really hyped for Suicide Squad. Just is it. Uh, kill the Justice League or something I think is what it called the guys who made uh, uh, what do you call it uh, Batman Arkham Knight Arkham Asylum and Arkham City are working on this uh, on this uh, Suicide Squad game and I'm actually really happy that they're working on a Suicide Squad game I've been dying for a Suicide Squad game in a, for like a long time where we could just play as Harley Quinn Deadshot I think it's going to be Deathstroke and not Deadshot per se because if you play uh, Batman Arkham Origin um uh, Amanda Waller actually goes to Deathstroke and offers him to join her uh, Suicide Squad. Now, does that mean we don't know if uh, Deathstroke said yes or no? I mean, he's not. He shows up in Arkham City, but there's not like no mention of the Suicide Squad, and he's not in the Assault of Arkham uh, movie of Arkham Origins tie-in. So maybe he denied it, or he said no, or who knows? Or maybe he's on a special, different Operation mission. But we'll see. I mean, I'm excited. I can't wait. I, I love DC. I love Batman. I love Superman. Green Arrow. You know, stuff like that. I, I can't wait. Dude, Kano is a little bitch. Ooh. Yes, that's what's up. And I'll just knock it out again with another friendship. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay awesome. We'll probably do some more uh, Tower of Times. Who knows if I'll continue the Cassie Cage one, but I have definitely am excited to do more stuff for you guys. Stay awesome. Stay cool, and I'll see you for some more Mortal Kombat awesomeness videos. Peace.